All right, everyone, welcome back to Schmatz Outdoors. Finally done. Only took us a couple hours this year to do this. A little bit less than last year, but we had a lot of the nails already there. Had a good plan going in, so it didn't take us that long. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, every year I make, I hang all my furs that I catch in the fall. When I get done putting them all up, I hang them all up on the barn and take a pitch, some pictures of it. You know, I kind of like the old timey feel of it. So we're going to give you a quick rundown of what we got here. And then we're going to actually take our pictures. I haven't taken any pictures yet. We got a nice sunny day, if you can't tell, which makes the pictures look a lot nicer. The last couple of years, it's been cloudy. So uh, it just doesn't give you quite the vibrancy that it does this way. All right, so we're going to give you a minute, just kind of soak all that in. So yeah, we got, I don't know, roughly the same amount of overall fur total number of animals all that just you know a few more of this species a few less of that one and so uh over here we got there's eight beavers on this end and then we got two more and a beaver over here on this end um we were going to try and put like this beaver and a couple beaver we thought we were going to end up putting them on the end over here because we didn't figure we we're going to have enough room Otherwise, I would have maybe tried to get those three over here all, so all the beavers were together. Uh, right over here on the next to the beavers, we'll get a little closer here. Right here, there's three mink in a line. This one's an otter. And then we'll go down the bottom row. So we got coyotes. We got two weasels right here in the middle. We're going to straighten them out a little bit before we take a picture. And then we got more coyotes. So there's 26 coyotes here. I actually trapped 26, but I threw one away that I tore. And this one here I harvested with the, I called in and shot. So that will be my 26 coyote. Again, up here we got, you know, the three beavers. The whole middle row, starting right here, all the way down is all raccoons, all the way down to this beaver here is all raccoons. This one here is that 32.6 pounder. We figured out, we figured he's roughly a 7XL coon if you had sizes up that big. But I'm gonna get him actually tan so I didn't cut the belly hole and stuff out of him. Um, and then up on the top, we got six skunks in a row, one badger, then three fox going on here, then one badger again. So I only ended up with just Three fox and two badgers this year, which is quite a ways down from normal. And then we got seven more skunks. So I only skinned 13 skunks out of the 19 I caught this year. But yeah, so it didn't take us quite as long this year to get it all hanging here, but it's gonna be a pretty nice picture. So like I said, we're gonna get set up and take some pictures for you guys. But yeah, like I said, beavers, mink, otter, coyotes here, raccoons, skunks, fox, and badgers on the top. Oh, and then down on the bottom, I didn't mention these. So we got, there's 70 muskrats hanging here. I caught 72 of them, but the mink had chewed one up, and then I think either a mink or an otter had chewed one up that was caught in that beaver set. So only got 70 muskrats hanging here this year. All right, I, I appreciate you guys riding around with me all fall. This is the culmination of all of that, all the hard work and everything else that goes into the whole season. And like I said, we're gonna take some nice pictures and I'll uh, post them at the end here. Uh, if you guys got any comments, anything like that, just be sure to leave them down below. And otherwise we'll see you guys out on the line next year.